Finland increases combat readiness due to possible Russian invasion. Finland has successfully tested its ability to manage a military economy and has begun storing military equipment outside its borders as Helsinki prepares for potential confrontation with an increasingly aggressive Russia, according to the Financial Times. Lieutenant General Mikko Heiskanen, Deputy Chief of Staff for Armaments and Logistics of the Finnish Armed Forces, stated that Finland recently reviewed over 1,000 contracts with private companies for the production of equipment or provision of services in times of war. We need to be prepared for a long-term crisis. We have activated some of those. We have checked all of the agreements. We have tested procurement, not just for ammunition, but for other material. We are testing our strategic partners' plans and readiness, he said. He added that reserves of essential fuels and grains would last for at least six months and air shelters are available for the entire population of the country. Nearly a third of the adult population are reservists, giving the country, with a population of just 5.6 million, one of the largest armies in Europe and the highest number of artillery pieces. It's in our DNA. Russia respects power. Power consists both of the will and the capacity. The will is in place. The people's will to defend the country is probably the highest in the world. The capacity, the material, is at a credible level. It takes years to build up this capacity. You cannot do it in a year or two. Heiskanen said he did not delve into specifics, but as an example mentioned that a textile company could be instructed to produce bulletproof vests or other items for soldiers' protection in combat in the shortest possible time. At the beginning of 2024, the information space was filled with reports of possible Russian preparations for aggression against NATO countries. German media reported the beginning of preparations for a possible Russian attack. Some military maneuvers and troop movements were cited as evidence lacking precise confirmation. The reaction of NATO countries to these reports was ambiguous. Representatives of the Lithuanian Ministry of Defense stated that they do not see a direct threat of attack from Russia. Their argument is that Russia is fully absorbed in the war in Ukraine and does not have the resources to open a new front. Heavy rains in the southern Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sul killed 39 people, with another 74 still missing, the state civil defense agency said the local government has declared a state of calamity in areas where more than 67,000 people in nearly 150 municipalities are impacted. Almost 10,000 have been displaced and more than 4,500 are in temporary shelters, the civil defense said DIT was the fourth such environmental disaster in a year, following floods in July, September, and November that killed 75 people in total, the flooding statewide has surpassed that seen during a historic 1941 deluge, according to the Brazilian Geological Service. In some cities, water levels were at their highest since records began nearly 150 years ago, according to AP. On May 2, a dam at a hydroelectric plant between the cities of Bento Goncalves and Cotipara partially collapsed and entire cities in the Taquari River Valley, such as Legetto and Estrella, were completely overtaken by water. Operators reported electricity, communications and water cuts across the state. More than 24,000 people had to leave their homes, according to the Civil Defense Agency, without internet, telephone service or electricity, residents struggled to provide updates or information to their relatives living in other states. Helicopters flew continually over the cities while stranded families with children awaited rescue on the rooftops. The climate crisis, caused primarily by humans burning fossil fuels, is supercharging extreme weather around the world, making many events more intense and more frequent. Tá vendo que tudo, hein? A sala da Josi não tem chave para erguer as coisas. Ó oh, Rogério, a máquina do Nelly, do Neide. Ah, pra ajudar ainda, quase que a Cônica quebrou a gabine, ó. Do Nelly, do Neide. Ah, pra ajudar ainda, quase que a Cônica quebrou a gabine, ó.